welcome to the Three Star Live. It's Misty and Jenny. Hey, everybody. So we are excited to be What's here with up, you today. Guys? What's up, guys? What's up? There's oh, Jake, Jake. Jake back there yeah. answering all your questions when the time comes. All right, let's see. We've got Sally from Louisiana. Thanks for tuning in. Elaine from Ohio. I bet their weather in uh, Louisiana is a little better than ours. Oh, Mary will be in Hamilton tomorrow. <gasps> wow. That's exciting. Hopefully, some of the ice thaws before then, Mary. It's Mary, a, it's a sheet of ice out there. It is <laughs> slick. <laughs> it's slick. I had a walk over here from my studio, and uh, let me just say, yeah. I had my big coat on. More my... like crawl. <laughs> along. I, yes. It's oh, baby well. steps, baby steps, baby <laughs> steps. <laughs> it, yeah, it's not great out there right now, yeah, it's but it's supposed rough. to warm up, I think. Hopefully. I don't know. It actually felt pretty balmy this morning. It was 31. Oh, yeah. 31's way warmer than we've That's had. That's true. And that is so true. I actually came out with a sweater and then thought, well, people will think I'm a little crazy. So Cover said perfect a, snowy, a snowy day for quilting. It, it's, it, yes. it's the best it day for quilting. It is a good day to be quilting. It's so. you, it's, I love those days, too, where you go in and you actually really can't go out. Yeah. That's my favorite because otherwise we find a reason and other yeah. things to do. But when you can't go out, Although, just so I've been, my dad like had this thing growing up. Whenever the weather was the absolute worst, we always went to Walmart. So like when it's like really bad, Why? I don't know. He's crazy. He just like had to get out of the house. Oh my gosh. So now I, Jake makes fun of me because I always want to do the same thing. <laughs> you always want to go to, <laughs> it sounds like a go to Walmart. Like, when I, it's a, I think I need to go somewhere right now when I should definitely oh man, stay not home. Me. I'm just like looking for it, waiting for it. And then I'm like, oh. <gasps> I can't even go to the store. What can I fix in yes. my cupboards? You know, I go I go searching through to see what I can find. That's awesome. Well, do you want to talk about your cute little project? Well, sure. So um, you guys who follow me, you might know that I do some of this painting from Let's Make Art. And Let's Make Art, this was a Christmas, in their Christmas sub subscription box. You can also get as a kit. But um, it had this cute, cute pickup truck right here. I know, it's so cute. It's so cute. And... Uh, and so I decided that I should make that on a towel. Absolutely. And of course, Christmas is over now. So we did this cute towel. I, I uh, used the truck as my inspiration. We drew it out for you. So there's a free printable. Yep, there's a free printable. It looks like this. Yep. Loads and of love. <laughs> loads of That's love. so cute. Which was preferable to some of the other names that we came <laughs> up with. <laughs> um, but loads of love. And it's just a cute little truck. Uh, you can put it on there. We have hearts in the back. Uh, lots of things left up to your creative mind. And it, this is just not a little tea towel. So it's just, you know, you're going to, you can hang this over your yeah. anything. So I have a, I have a confession to make, Misty. You, you, uh, you're going to be real sad when you hear this. But, oh, no. um, so like probably two years ago, I was in a, um, I bought probably five yards of toweling uh -huh. so that I could make all my daughters and my daughter-in-laws <laughs> <laughs> cute towels for whatever holiday it was. Uh -huh. Still have that yardage. Well, it'll, it'll happen eventually, right? <laughs> it will. Maybe today. Yeah, maybe we have today. This, this cute truck. That's right. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I'm sure there's a few of you out there who buy projects that you don't actually finish on time. Uh, I'm one of those. I'm one of those. It's a really cute idea. I have really good intentions. But this is something that's so quick. This is really yeah, quick and easy. It was really fast. And, uh, and I actually... You know, I, I said to Misty, oh my gosh, this is so cute. We should do one of these, you know. And so, yeah. so that's what we did. Here's Misty's that she did. Yeah, and look I made at that this, this morning on this Look at this red cute towel. red towel. And I love actually that the truck is on the edge. I think that's so cute. Yeah. And it's just lo loads of love. So can you guys see this right here on this cute towel with the stripes? I love really it. cute. So let's show them how to do this because this right. is really fun. Awesome. So here's your printable. And we just traced it all out on Heat and Bond Feather Light. Mm -hmm. And so I've done that here. So um, that, where do they get the... Oh, the, so you can get this printable in the, the description or the post, depending on if you're watching on uh, Facebook or YouTube. It's totally free for you to just download and print off. Um, so make sure you grab that. Missouri Star sells the tea towels. Yes, we do. You can get the tea towels that we're using from our website. Um, this would make a cute little... Uh, Valentine's or Galentine's Day gift. Cute. Galentine's Day is uh, You can also get this tomorrow. from Let's Make Art. Yes, that's uh, right. Let'smakeart.com. And when you buy the kit, it actually comes with all the paints you need so that you can do it. Yeah. Really yeah. cute little kit. Super I love fun. doing that. You know, I read this really cool thing that said, um, if you're a creative person, it's always good to create out of your element. Mm -hmm. And so then I decided to um, start watercoloring because that's my least talented area. But everything's a learned skill. Yeah, you do a great so, job. So, you know, am I a great painter? No. Do I get better every week? Yeah. 
and I'm braver than yeah. I used to be. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'll paint something and it won't look exactly like Sarah. So Sarah Cray is the name of the gal who teaches it. And she teaches, she does like I do. And she teaches free um, videos on. Um, Actually, Michael, our camera guy, it's, it's his wife. Teaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is true. Great. He's pretty lucky. Yeah, he's pretty lucky. She's awesome. Uh, she's actually pretty lucky herself. <laughs> but um, anyway, so uh, so I started doing that, and it it just made me a lot braver because you have to if you're going to create, you have to be brave. Mm -hmm. And so this was one of those things. And I thought when I saw the truck, I was just like, this would look so cute, full of hearts on a tea towel. You know, everybody thinks that, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. All right. So we we uh, this is your. You can get this in the description yeah. below. And we we used just one of these uh, light table things, Caterpillar Glow to trace it. You can use your window. You can use a window. Yeah, you don't have to The other thing you can fancy. do is that this stuff, this um, heat and bond light, uh, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll take a marker and trace over this line and then you can see it easily right through oh. the heat and bond light even without even the light without table. Even without the light table. Because not everybody has one of these. That's exactly right. I used to have one when I, um, for Barbie clothes. Oh. You know, they had a, they had a, a fashion Barbie. And so you would make and, little patterns? Yes, and it, you ha we had a little light box oh, when I was a kid. Oh, that's fun. They just don't make so, them like they used to. I know, right? And so anyway, you're just going to trace these things out. And we trace several big hearts and, you know, three little hearts, tiny hearts for the wheels. Actually, when I made mine, I don't know if you noticed this, but I did not cut out hearts for the yeah, wheels. Yeah, yours are just little circles. Yeah, it's little circles because I had fabric that yeah. had little hearts on them. So I just kind of cut them out. They're kind of quasi circles yeah, you know that's all right <laughs> they're not real circle circles they, but they now, just look like hearts that's what you yeah notice. they look like hearts and um and this this circle right here this is the size of my aspirin cap oh perfect you know? i'm telling yeah, you because, we are make do girls because she made hers before there was ever a printable yeah, so <laughs> she yeah just, i was like we need a printable <laughs> yep she just made up these shapes and then yeah. wanted it to be easier for you guys and so, so again to I, I stole the truck from from my let's make art pack so yeah. And I actually shrunk it down a little bit, but it's the same general yeah, it's idea. It's adorable. All right. So we're gonna you're gonna trace that onto your heat and bond. You'll just need you'll need an eight and a half by eleven piece of heat and bond. Should I mean we, just a tiny little piece. Should we iron one of these on just to show them how it works? Absolutely. Cut one out. All right. Because Misty has lovingly, sweetly cut out all the pieces. All the pieces. Hold on, I've got a little scrap here. All right. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pink. We right. uh, we helped. We helped on oh, that. Oh, you true. guys helped too. Jake and Michael did help. Wow, good job, guys. All right, so we'll just. I hope your wife's. Too. Wait, is that the back? It's oh, it is. It's, batik it's doesn't batik. matter. Yeah. <laughs> Panic. Put your right. uh, iron on your stuff on the back side of your yes, fabric. Yes, wrong side. But with batik, we were okay. So with batik, we were okay because it's good both sides. All right. So then we just press that down with a nice hot iron. And remember, with this uh, feather light, you don't want to press too long or it actually makes the glue not work anymore, right? right? Right, So you just want that sweet spot where it sticks but doesn't come unstuck. And then we'll just trim around that shape. Yeah, my husband was actually um, gluing some of these on. He's like, why isn't this sticking? I'm like, you're probably overdoing probably it. Probably overdid it, yeah. There we go. Easy as pie. A little heart. Easy I as pie. So this so, is a little heart. And when you go to peel these off, what I do is I just kind of fold this and then kind of roll it back. And then it just comes right off. And if you see the shiny yeah. on your fabric, then you know that glue has adhered and it will stick on to anything. Perfect. So that's how that works. We want to build it on this white one? Well, I was going to say, so on this red one, the red one, where is our, oh, here. Right there. Yeah. So the red one looks like, where is the... Uh, Where's the truck? Oh, here it is. <laughs> and it was in here somewhere. All right. So the red one looks like the truck is kind of sitting on a road. Mm -hmm. On my white one, um, it didn't look so much like there was a road. It was just the truck kind of sitting on white. Just floating. So I decided to put a band across the bottom of my towel. And I want to show you how I did that. Because you'll want to do that first before you do your put your truck on because um, you want the wheels to go over the top. Now, I put mine on after, and one of my wheels is under, yeah. and I would have rather had it be, had on, it be top. on top. Yeah. Okay, well, there's so, that. So, you know, we live and learn. And then here's a little strip for you. All right, so I have a really cool trick for putting on um, strips hey, like who this. who keeps hitting their mic? Oh, it's probably me. I don't know. I'm the queen of the mic hitter. Is that me? Yeah. Ooh, I just got the look from him. Oh, man. <laughs> that look. <laughs> All right. So what I did on this is um, 
I'm kind of going to figure out where I want my strip to be. And this is just a two and a half inch this strip, This is a right? two and a half inch strip, and I've pressed it in half on this end because this is the trick. Okay. So, um, so what I do is I, I kind of decide where I want my trick, my trick, <laughs> my, my strip to be. Um, and I, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this because I'm a creature of easy uh -huh. and, um, and I didn't want to measure anything. What I did was I laid this strip right along the bottom edge of this towel. Now I'm assuming that the edge of the towel is straight. Right. Okay. So that's our assumption. And then what I'm going to do, so my raw edge is up here at the top. My folded edge is down here at the bottom. I'm going to sew right along this edge right here, and I'm going to use the edge of the towel as my guide so that it will be on there do nice and straight. Do you turn under your ends or anything? Well, I do, but I just, I just uh, leave it there for a minute. Oh, okay. And then you'll probably want to cut it like a little bit off. Okay. Like this. And, okay. um, and you can see on this one right here, let me just show you. So I wrapped it, you oh, know, okay. I just pulled it around uh, and sewed it down. But on, uh, on this one right here, so the trick on this is that we're going to lay this, the folded edge, to the bottom. Um, and then we're going to sew a quarter of an inch right here in the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip this up. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so it makes it real easy. So let's just, let me go to the sewing machine and do that. All right, here, I'll move this stuff. And I'm just going to um, make sure that my edge is hanging over a little bit. And you can tuck this edge in if you want, or you can... Um, you know, whatever you want to do. I kind of wrap the other one around. This one I think I'll tuck up and see how it looks. Awesome. But I'm going to leave it right along the edge of the uh, towel, and I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch. All and right, Angela my... just reminded me that the name of this is on YouTube is the Machine Quilting Tour. Oh, sorry. We fixed sorry. the description. Let's try to change it. I was wondering if it'll, if it'll work. This is not the machine quilting tour. No. The machine quilting tour happened last week, and you can go watch it. You know what, Misty? I watched that. It was so good. You guys oh, did, you did, it a, did a great job. It was really fun. Oh, yep. We're sticking, aren't we? Yeah, and I'm just going to pull that back. So, again, I'm just making sure my folded edge is staying right along the... Yeah, it's so fun to see that whole machine quilting process. That was really fun last week, and Becky really knows well, Becky stuff. did a great job. Yeah, she did awesome. All right, so. And I probably could have laid this in here the other way so I didn't have all this hanging on in here. <laughs> yeah, that's just a rookie mistake right there. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a rookie. On we'll this end. Make it up as we go. <laughs> on this end right here, I'm just folding it. Um, I'm just folding it up to the inside. I'll show you that in just a sec. If you're just joining us, we're making a really cute little Valentine's tea towel. All right. So now you can see right here, I've sewn this on and I turned these ends in. Did you see that? Perfect. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this up and we're going to press it down. And what that means is we have a perfectly straight road. You need to press it. But we're also going to have um, that top. We just have to top stitch one side. You right. can top stitch both if you want to, but the one side is a closed seam. The seam is inside. And so you don't. You don't have to, because anytime I find that I iron both edges under, it never comes out looking straight. The way that you want it to be. Yeah. yeah. So it's way easier trick. just to take a strip, fold it in half, sew down one side, and then flip it up. There we go. All right. So now we want to sew this down. And I'm going to use red thread, so I'm going to get some red thread over here. Uh, or pink. Pink works. Pink will work. And um, because I think the pink, whenever you, t so I rarely match my thread. Oh, but when I top stitch, I match. I try to match. Yes. Yes, Jake has his hand up. I, that's the only way to get my mom's attention. She taught us for years, and that was the only <laughs> That's so true. That's, that's true. To get yes, slow Jake, down. do you have a question? <laughs> but uh, Rita was wondering how to download it. Oh. You go it, to the link in the description. There's a link in the description. So um, either the description of the video on YouTube or the, the post itself on our Facebook page has a link there where you, it'll take you right to the printable, and you can just... Uh, click that and hit print. Okay, wait, I can't remember how to thread. Oh, here we go, this way. I, I, I taught this threading just a minute ago, but I thread, I work on several different machines, and so all of a sudden I'm like, wait, how do I thread this? <laughs> In between those two, it pulls the little loop. 
All right, so this isn't an exact color, but it's close and it's gonna work good enough for me because pink and red, we're all about Valentine's. That's right. Now this also would be a cute place. Sometimes you have a machine that has a, that has a, a bunch oh, of yeah. stitches. This would be a fun place um, to do that, to put a those cute decorative, stitch. decorative stitches. So I'm just gonna set this up so that my needle is going right along the edge. So maybe about an eighth of an inch in. And, um, and I'm just gonna sew along. And when I do that, I have a place that I watch my eyes go to um, for uh, top stitching so that I make sure that that piece is always about in the same place. Because it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be good enough to dry my hands on or to give us a gift, which we're going to do. Yes. Abigail was saying that it's funny when you say backside because that means something different in England. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Backside, is that what you said? Yeah. It's funny when you say backside because it means something different in England, she said. Oh my. I'm going to England in August oh, for the Birmingham show. That will be so fun. I'm just so excited. That's awesome. All right. So, so now said add uh, Easter eggs in the back. Exactly. You oh, could do it for any Christmas, holiday. anything. Yeah. So Shamrocks, cute. whatever you want. Just Valentine's is closest. So that's what we went with. All right. So and and that's and the other cool thing is it's not just trucks, right? right. If you just want to put three hearts on here, right. you could do it. This is such a quick, easy gift and a really great addition to you know, like hanging on your dishwasher yes. or whatever it is. Just cutes it up a little bit. So now once you get your um, your road on there, you know where things are gonna be. And I would go ahead and peel all the paper off your, off your back things, your pieces of your fabric. <laughs> That's a technical term there. <laughs> yeah, we We're don't wanna very say. Very official. Don't wanna say back sides. <laughs> uh, oh wait, that, one, that one's good. Oh gosh. You're quicker than me. No, I've only gotten two. Just oh. a bi I just got a big one. Oh, okay. Maybe some of them are already ready then. And so, I, again, I just fold this over and then kind of push it back and it just like, the, the piece, the paper will, if you fold the paper onto the paper, it pretty much almost always pops up mm -hmm. and uh, wheels. does that. The next thing I'm going to tell you to do, which, again, from experience, is to take your tea towel and all your little pieces over to the ironing mat. <laughs> you don't want to get them all set out and perfect and then have to move it. So we're going to, let's scoot this over here. What? I'm just moving your... Oh, he wants us to pull it over. Oh, that's a good idea. Yep. All right. So we're going to, and I'm going to turn this so that it's wide side to the top and then we can set this. It'll Somebody was up. asking the name I know, of the, I forget though. It scares me. Light box. What was the question? What's the name of that light box? It's called Caterpillar. Right? Cutter, cutter Pillar. Cutter Pillar. Cutter Pillar Glow. And it's a great, it's just a thin, thin. Yeah. And I think you can drop it. And, and it's cordless. Cordless. And so you just have a plug that you plug it in and charge Connie, it. Connie, I Pretty do great. like that my wife and my mom get along so well. Uh, yeah, it's the best. <laughs> it is the best. Uh, just in case anyone wonders, I have the best mother-in-law. It's uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. All right, so I've got my truck lined up here. Is it centered? No. Could it be centered? Sure. Could it be on the edge? I kind of like the idea that it's going along. Um, I can move it to the center if we want. Um, I'm laying my truck tires just kind of so they just barely go over the road a little bit. I'm going to put some little, little baby hearts in the middle of my truck tires. Or maybe these are the ones. Mom, we had a question. Yes, yes. She said what uh, type of fabric would be good for a tea towel? Oh, if so the tea towels tea are tea woven towel. generally. And it's, a, um, it's like a woven. So actually there's a lot of... Um, uh, in the primitive fabrics, there's a lot of woven fabrics. Those make great tea mm -hmm. towels, and it's just yardage you can buy. Yeah. The yardage I bought was actually, it was like, um, uh, and we don't sell it here. I bought this someplace. I don't even remember where I bought it. <laughs> but they sold it by the yard, and they, but it has like, it's like the old-fashioned tea towels where they have the red um, oh, stripes on the, on side. the sides. Cute. Yeah, so it was really cute. I actually looked to see if we sold it because I often buy things that I find out later that we do sell, uh, but I, did, I just didn't know. Here's our little. But anyway, any woven too. fabric is really good. So there's your window. Yeah. 
you want to plop in some of these hearts. Now, one of the things that I recommend is to look at your heart colors because if they're, if this, like this red one is going to kind yeah. of blend, so then you want to just kind of stick it up here and um, we're just going to piece these out a little bit. Like, I don't even know if we need this yeah, other big one extra. that we cut. Um, I just want to interject, Lisa, we do sell tea towels. We do sell yes. tea towels and they're beautiful and we have ones that like have have dots and things like that oh, yeah, and that's so one of the things ones. I loved about yours because yours is on that on the cute little red yeah on the red and so the red has a background to it and so she made her truck black, black so that it would but pop. still filled it with the red hearts but you just have to watch to make sure that your hearts are going to pop off yeah. there all right so our little truck is on here that's kind of all on there and then we're just going to take our iron and we're going to set it right down on hold it for about three seconds and set this right down on and hold it for about three seconds and you don't want to, um, you don't want to like scoot it because they could scoot. So you just want to be careful with this. Now I, um, on mine, I decided that I was going to, um, I think that's all. Yeah, it looks great. There. All right, so let's move this over. So on mine, I did a blanket stitch around mine and I used, let me show you this. I used red thread on the entire, entire thing. So it didn't matter. Um, and, and this is largely because I'm like a horse to water. I want to see what it's going to look like finished. And um, I'm kind of a lazy sewer, so I don't love to change my thread. So I chose the color that was uh, the most, you know, the... Universal. The, well, it had not universal, but it had, I had the most red. Oh, okay. So I chose red. That makes sense. But um, at the end of the day, I actually love how it looks around say, the window. I love it too. On the on tire, the, on it the looks tires. like red. It's so cute. I really liked how it looked. And so you can change your threads with every little um, thing if you want to. Or you can just pick a thread um, that will work. I was actually going to go with the gray, but since I've got the pink on here, right. I'm going to go with the pink. Perfect. And um, I want to switch it to a blanket stitch or an applique stitch. You could do a tiny zigzag. I know um, I used to not be a fan of the zigzag, but Lori Holt, who is an amazing appliqueer, does everything with that teeny is tiny really? zigzag. Yeah, that's awesome. And they're, it's just as cute as it can be. I and bet. I'm like, well, of course, if Lori Holt does anything, it's cute. Yeah, it's we adorable. know that's cute. <laughs> but um, so I'm just going to set my stitch up. And this one on this machine, it's 56. And I think I have to go. What do I have to you do hit for the this? Hit the M first. Oh, I hit the M. And then, and then I hit 56. Oh, wait. I think nope. we double hit, hit the, the M. M. There we go. Hit Just the once. M. Yeah. 56. There we go. And um, and let me have a little scrap to okay. test on. I want to make sure that's going to work before I start on my towel. Always a good plan. Pro tip. That's a pro tip. That's a pro tip right there. <laughs> All right. So, um, and there are generally several different... Okay, see how close that is? My other one isn't that close. I wonder if I can make it bigger. I think you can. Let me can. see. Uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to go there and see what happens. And I'm going to go here and see what happens. All right. So your width button on your sewing machine is going to make the, the stitch that comes out and grabs your material, it's going to make it shorter. And your length button, okay, see the difference? Look at the difference in these two. Can you guys get in here and really show this? They should be able to see it. So um, I moved my, I lengthened my stitch a little bit to, because it came, it comes up automatically on a setting, and it's the it's the factory setting, and so it comes up as a two point five. Then, um, and and it, that's the stitch. You think that's the stitch you get, but if you move your length and width buttons, then you can stretch out that stitch a little bit and make your the little stitches that come up and grab shorter or longer. So um, I I did mine is now set at um, three three point and three point Okay. So I'm going to start on the bottom of my car right here. And, and Jake, can you get a close-up of that stitching so they can actually see? And then I'll pull this out when I um, am done with this part and they can see that. Now this is one of those times where you can't pull it, you can't rush it. You really have to let the sewing machine do its job, which is so hard for me. <laughs> Takes a little work, right? <laughs> it's just a lesson in patience. <laughs> All right, so I've, I've done that little stitch across the bottom of my truck, and now I'm gonna go down to the wheel. So I have to turn this. Now when you're doing a curve, you wanna always stop with your needle in the down so that you can move it however you want. Now I, on a wheel, I will take about, I will go much slower, and I will take about three stitches, and then I'm gonna stop. 
making sure my needle is down and then and turn my wheel a little bit because I want to make sure this is a nice circle. All right, uh, who is it? Elizabeth wondering if they're washable after they're done. Oh gosh, yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. The towel's washable, the fabric's washable, especially if you stitch them on like this. Now, if you just put it in the wash without stitching it on. They'll fall off. It'll fall off. Yeah, but you, as long as you top stitch, absolutely it's washable. Yeah, so. And it better be because, you know, um, because I had this at Misty's house and look. No, it's not this one. It's oh, on not this one. This one. <laughs> My sweet children. <laughs> She's like, the kids stepped on this. They stepped on it. I think they were table dancing, if you want to know the Well, truth. it was actually in the car, and they oh, stepped oh, oh. on the seat of the car, and I had a big old footprint. I got most of it out. But I was so, like, no. So we know it's washable. That's right. Right. I just haven't washed it yet, because I wanted it to look brand new for you guys, but it is washable. But that's life with kids, right? That is so life with kids. My kid was the worst. He's sitting right over there. <laughs> he turned out okay. He turned out real good. Uh, that's, yeah. But either way, we got a question. Um, they're wondering if we don't have a sewing machine like that, what would happen if we don't sew those down? They will come or, off eventually, um, but I c you could hand stitch them down. Yeah, you could like hand you could do the, um You could even do that Sashko where they do the bigger stitches. Oh, yeah. Would look really cute on it. Yeah, and if, if you want, you could hand applique and just uh, you know do some needle turn. You just wouldn't use the fusible after you cut out the shape. Yeah, it is hard to hand applique through fusible. Mm -hmm. I have actually tried that before. Yeah. Mackie so was just asking. cut out your shapes with a little extra seam allowance around those lines, and then you could... And, and one of the things I want you guys to remember is that if your stitching isn't perfect, it's not, uh, nobody's going to die over this. No. They're not going to give the towel back because it wasn't perfect. It'll never happen. Yes, Jake. Jake's hand was up again. I know. I saw that, but I tried to ignore it. What? Time. I saw your <laughs> eyes, Mom. I saw you looking at me. You could see me easy. <laughs> I did. It's true. All right. She was, uh, Mackie was asking if there's a needle down setting on that. Uh, there is a needle 25. down setting on this, and I should use it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you know, people will say to me all the time, they'll be like, do you use a this foot? And I'm like, no, because I never remember I have it. I, I am such a make-do sewer. Well, there was a project we did a couple weeks ago, and people were like, why didn't you use a walking foot? It's like, oh, yeah, that's a thing. Well, <laughs> I just don't even think about it. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I figure out if it works. I always try it straightforward with yeah. this. If I have trouble, then I look at how to make that easier. Right, absolutely. But, um, what this machine doesn't have that I miss is it doesn't have a um, it doesn't have a scissor cut. Uh, yeah, a thread. And so a thread cutter. So I miss that. Um, oops, I just took a step backwards. I miss the scissor cut on this machine, but my Jane doesn't have a pretty stitch. It'll, it's only a straight stitch. Yeah. Any other questions, Jake? Yeah, keep feeding us questions because this does take um, a little moment. Ra, what is it, Roz? Roz was saying Lori Holt passed away, but I don't think it's the designer. Of what now? No. It's not. For nope. sure. Okay. Yeah, no, she's good. Wait, what did Sorry. they ask? I don't know. There's a lot of whispering, and I can hear over the sewing Someone machine. Someone is saying that Lori Holt passed away. And, oh, no, she and did Lori not. Holt did pass away, and that's sad, but it's not the designer that... Oh, not that designer, not that no. Lori okay, Holt. that was... Okay. Sorry to... Sorry, other Lori Holt. To the other Lori Holt. Yes, also we have some confusion about your um, tea towel. You made your own tea towel. How do you do that? No, these tea towels are for sale on our website, and we've linked to them as well. So just like you would find the link to the uh, printable, you can get a link to these tea towels that we carry at Missouri Star. What I was saying is you can You can, make but your we did not towel. make these. No. <laughs> no, these have a little tag on them and everything that says they were made by... Not us. <laughs> Dunroven. Dunroven towels are so nice. Oh my gosh. They have and they have so many options. And we don't carry we can, you can, nobody can carry all of them. They're just amazing. <laughs> you went right into that wheel. I, I saw did. that. So smooth. Right. 
Yeah, they were saying that it might be a good idea to pre-wash your tea towels before you put the design. Oh, it might. Be, yeah. You need a stitch around the window as well. Stitch around what? The little window. Yes. Yes, I do have to do the window and the hearts, but I'm going to finish this truck and take it off and show you because uh, the, the hearts and that, you know, we'll be here. It'll be another, it'll be another good. A little while. Uh, yeah, probably 40 minutes for me to do all the little hearts. Yeah, it's really the top stitching that is the longest part. Besides, this is just a really quick little project. And there are, again, there are stitches that are faster than this one. Yeah. All right, let me see here. Oh, no scissor cut. Just got to pull that out of there. <laughs> when somebody was asking about stabilizer. No stabilizer on this because it's on that heat and bond. The heat and bond works as yeah. a stabilizer. So here's my little truck that's done. And let me cut these threads. And see, I just used the pink, and I did the pink right around the black tires, which are the first things that's gonna show up. I love it. And I think it still looks fine. It yeah. just looks cute. Now this one has a little bit of fray over here, which you can just trim off with your scissor really carefully. Mm -hmm. and, um, and see, then you'll just go ahead and go around these hearts. And your window. And your little window. And your, the centers and of your tires. tires yeah. so And the little tires, yeah. So cute. So cute. So um, any more questions out there for us on this? Yeah. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit and stitch. Yeah, we're pretty much done. That's <laughs> yeah. it. Osmond wants a kaleidoscope tutorial. So the thing about the kaleidoscope tutorial, <laughs> I actually did one, uh, got one already for a tutorial, but it is actually a trademarked way of uh, I, of quilting. Oh. And, um, and so we could get in trouble for doing that because it's somebody else's idea yeah. already. Um, so, so look up how they do it. Yeah, yeah. So just you can just search it on YouTube, Kaleidoscope. Yeah. Uh, and there's all kinds of ways to do that. If I could come up with a whole different way, yeah, I could teach that easily. Just hasn't uh, happened yet. <laughs> just hasn't happened but yet. But that doesn't yeah. mean it won't. <laughs> no. So I am forever think coming up with ways, and I'm like, oh my gosh, if you just did this, it'd be so much easier. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I haven't actually really looked at that oh, one yeah. uh, to see. I just know that I did one, and they went. <gasps> You know, I mean, our, uh, and of course, obviously we can't search every pattern we do. So there are going to be some overlaps between some things I do and some things other people do because I'm just working with a pre-cut and, yeah. um, and it's pretty, what I do is pretty simple. So there is going to be overlap, but it's never intentional. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Jacob this has is working his hand very again. well. Yes. <laughs> this is working very well. Um, they're saying if you were going to buy yardage. Oh yes. For, oh. To make tea towels, what would you look for? Would it be like. Set you would look for a woven yardage, point. and this is third. This is twenty-eight and a. Well, it probably with hems. Let's yeah. see with hems. It's probably about thirty inches with yeah. hems, and it's going to be thirty by twenty-one. So I would imagine that you could actually use a half a yard pretty easily. Oh yeah. Um, I might. You might do three quarters of a yard. Three quarters of a yard is is twenty-seven inches. So, um, you might do three quarters of a yard, uh, and you could get two towels out of it. Mm -hmm. And. For everybody that's joining in right now, there's a link in the description for the pattern. Yes, the yep. yes. if you're link. just joining us, this will be available on yep. Facebook and YouTube as soon as we wrap this up. Called Loads of Love. This cute little printable is in the description. <laughs> and and, and White-tailed Deer is wondering if we can leave this up. Yes, yes, this, is, yes, this, this stays will stay up. up. All of our uh, Facebook, or our Missouri Star Live, because we're not just on Facebook, right? Right. So they'll stay up in both places, YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, you, you can, can find, find it us. on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, so thanks for being here with us. We hope you guys enjoyed this. And Maybe. we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's yes. Day. Yes. What Happy are you doing for Valentine's Day? Do you know? We don't even really have, we just got back from that trip, yeah. so we're just, you know. Guess what I'm doing, getting a massage. Oh, good. I'm doing that tonight. <laughs> I booked a massage I for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Best day ever. You know what we should do for Valentine's Day? Get one of those like heart-shaped pizzas, not go oh, out. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's that I usually make uh, stuffed French toast. I make a fancy stuffed French toast oh, dinner for my kids. Oh, you do that. So cute. Yeah. yeah. And then they yeah, tell each other what they, what love, they love about, about each other. Which yeah. is the sweetest thing. We were over there one time and they're like, say what you love about grandma. And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> you know. So we, just, that's what we usually it's do. It's such a sweet thing. Yeah. We don't do sweet anything too thing. crazy. 
So. No, we don't either. Anyway, we hope you have a wonderful Valentine's yes. Day. And we'll see you and next. Oh, wait. Wait. What? You'll be back tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So let me tell you. So um, every once in a while, we have these cool designers that come into town. Yes. And we have one here. Bev McCullough is here from Flamingo Toes. She designs for a, uh, that's her design her, name, Flamingo Toes. And she's with Riley Blake, And right? she's with Riley Blake. And she is here doing a retreat. So we asked her if she would want to do a Facebook Live. And she has the cutest project. So tomorrow. Yes. She and I are going to come back on and do another Facebook Live. And what, what it'll time? Be at, it'll be at 10 o'clock Central. 10, 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Early. Central. It'll be an hour earlier than normal. But also, just like always, it will it'll be, be there yeah. if you miss it. So it'll you can always there. watch it after. So set your YouTube DVRs. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a thing? Set a timer or a reminder Facebook, so you can catch Apple Jenny watches. and Beth. So 10 o'clock, um, we'll be on here, and we are making the cutest. And it's an Easter project. Yes. So it's super cute. Yeah, really, uh, really fun. Yeah, really excited about that. So don't forget about that tomorrow morning at 10. And, and that's it. Have a good night till we see you tomorrow. That's right. See, we'll see ya. you later. Bye. See you guys. Bye guys.